people get clever and clever every day. Technology, né? At MediClinic Durban Bull, we're having the opportunity today of giving a patient from Tigerberg Hospital the opportunity to be operated on by using the Da Vinci robot um, through the partnership between the Western Cape Department of Health and MediClinic. And our surgeons are actually all doing the work pro bono. So that's a great privilege for all of us. I don't think this is the hardest part because I'm positive about this. I've been on the waiting list at Tigerberg Hospital for approximately six months. Uh, when uh, Tigerberg told me about this uh, cancer, eh, I was very, uh, not afraid, but I was eager to go for the operation. On Friday, Dr. Ackerman phoned me about this, and he said to me, they will do it free of charge. And I was very, very excited about it. Uh, recovery will be sooner. Our vision is quality health for all and uh, our mission is about a, pri a partnership. It used to be about it's us, uh, public, it's them, the private. And uh, yet the, the common denominator has always been the patient. Therefore you cannot keep on othering the private because you need the private actually, you need. But that's why we are saying that it's about the how part in terms of uh, working together. We are all doing it for the patient. The country now is going towards the universal health coverage, which requires a public-private partnership because we won't be able to do it all by ourselves. Western Cape Province can be a classroom and also a lab in terms of testing the universal coverage because we have got a better functioning system and a collaboration uh, with the public and private as being demonstrated, for example, with the Medi Clinic and Western Cape Government. Collaborating with uh, Medical School University of Stellenbosch and Tigerberg Hospital and Dr. Ackerman is a specialist from there and the registrars that training. Because we can show this, they get an opportunity to learn about about this and they can start looking at getting trained on the robot in the future. It's actually got a higher freedom of movement than what your hand can do. So you control the diathermy and the cutting electrically with your feet and then you control the movement of the instruments with your hand set here. There's a lot of safety precautions built into the whole action of the machine. You're very restricted in your vision when you do open surgery. Therefore, it tends to bleed a lot more because there's big venous plexus, plexuses around the prostate and you tend to injure them. With this, you have good vision. It bleeds less than 100 milliliters. Your chance of getting uh, cancer outside the prostate after the procedure is less. The whole operation on the inside is relayed to screens, so everyone works on screens. This project will benefit 10 patients on the urology waiting list at Tigerberg Hospital. What we are doing here today is quite unique. This is the first time that robotic surgery will be available in the public sector. Today is actually about making a difference to the lives of patients in the public sector that would otherwise not have been able to access this type of technology. There's twin objectives. The one is what we call service delivery. It means basically making sure that our patients in the state also receive the same type of optimal treatment that people in the private sector get. And I think uh, using the latest technology, robotic surgery, is actually a great plus for us. The other objective is for us for training and, and teaching. Uh, Tigerberg is an academic hospital and um, sometimes access to the latest technology is not in, in our reach because of our budget constraints. And for this we also welcome this initiative.